What's up everyone? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Katrina. Today we are doing a bullet journal plan with me for the week of October 26th through November 1st. And I can't believe we are already at the end of October. It has gone by quickly, but you know what? I am ready for the month of November because honestly, that is the start of like the festive holiday season. And you're probably wondering, but Katrina, I thought your favorite holiday is Halloween. Yes, Halloween is my favorite holiday, but it's not like the festive, like, you know, family gathering type holiday that Thanksgiving and Christmas bring along. So I am extremely excited to partake in all those wonderful activities that just come along with the holidays. I can't wait to decorate my house, bake like holiday cookies, and just do a whole bunch of arts and crafts. So in the spirit of the end of October and the beginning of November, and just overall loving like this month, I thought I would pay a great tribute to my favorite Halloween movie slash like opening of the holidays and that is the nightmare before Christmas. So with this theme I um absolutely adore the nightmare before Christmas. I grew up watching it. I think Tim Burton is an amazing director and when he created this movie I don't even I don't think he even realized how much of a gem he was putting out into the universe. The storyline is phenomenal. Jack Skellington, Sally, Oogie Boogie, like all of them are just wonderful characters. I love the songs that are a part of it and oh my goodness, this movie is going to be my favorite movie by far for a very long time in regards to Halloween movies. It's funny, every time I go to Disneyland, I have to stop by the Nightmare Before Christmas store and buy something Jack Skellington related. I have a sweater, a t-shirt, a tank top, a messenger bag. Um, I think I have a pencil case. Like, I love that store and I love all things Jack Skellington and Sally related. I just think it is an amazing show, movie, everything. <laughs> so anyways, here is the Pumpkin King himself. I did this freehand so I was actually pretty um, proud of what I was able to put together and in fact um, this whole idea came along. I always knew I wanted to draw him out but um, I was also approached by another YouTuber. Um, her her name is Sue, and she's with Discovering the Art of Liver. No, I think I messed that up. I believe her channel is Discovering the Art of Living, and she reached out to me and asked if I would be interested in a Nightmare Before Christmas collaboration on my main channel, and I was like, yeah, that's you know, I didn't have to think twice. I was so on board with doing it. But when it came to the actual, like, okay, what am I going to do in regards to, you know, the Nightmare Before Christmas, I was a little stumped because I, on my main channel, I really don't do anything like art related. This is like, I don't do anything planner related at all because this is what I use this channel for. On that channel, I do more like shopping hauls, um, recipes, um, DIYs, that sort of thing. So I was a little stumped like, okay, what could I do Nightmare Before Christmas themed on that channel? And at first I was thinking, well, I could just talk about my love for it because, you know, I'm a talker. But I was like, no, let's actually showcase something. So I actually filmed this video about two weeks ago and that's what I used for my main channel. Now I have a different voiceover going over the same footage so, and I just talk about, you know, my love for it and actually I reference this channel a lot and I say like you know why um, 
I enjoy bullet journaling and planning in general and it was really fun actually getting to share like this YouTube world with my other subscribers and I had a fun time being a part of that collaboration and I enjoyed seeing everyone's take on the Nightmare Before Christmas. Um, a lot of the collaborators in that particular thread were artists, so the pieces they put together were beautiful and phenomenal. I am so impressed with like what everyone created, and I'm just, I'm astonished, and I'm so like thankful that I was part of my first YouTube collaboration, and it was really fun. I, definitely want to partake in something like that again in the near future. So um, for my piece, this was obviously part of the collaboration, so I decided to do Jack Skellington. The one scene that I really wish I could draw, but I was a little hesitant, was the one where Jack and Sally are on the mountain and they have their song playing, and then I wanted to, you know, curse of in simply meant to be, but I was a little hesitant on what Sally would look like. I know I can draw Jack, but I really haven't drawn, um, I haven't tried dra drawing Sally in a few years, so I just stuck to the one I knew I could definitely draw, and that was Jack Skellington. And what I really liked about this piece it was the different direction of lines and how I was able to you know, create them on um, the page and showcase the, like, the scribbling effect. Obviously, black and white is just, you know, the only colors that are used for Jack Skellington, but I liked how I used the direction of my pen to really just, like, to, like, differentiate the way his outfit is looking. So, especially on his coat jacket, I did you know the horizontal lines versus vertical and you'll really start seeing that put together and I just loved how it was more of that sketch feel um a lot of Tim Burton's movies I feel have that sort of tone they're not true like well they are animated but it's more of that like real realistic you know clay type animation and so that's what I was trying to go for for this I didn't really want to fully you know color in everything with a black marker I wanted that more etch-a-sketch vibe and I just I was really proud of how this thing came together and I can't wait to um I don't know really test my drawing skills because after drawing this and then thinking back to my cow that I drew a few months or actually last month in September I'm like wow well, my drawing skills you know when I really put my mind to it I feel like I do have somewhat of a you know good ability to draw and put something on a page so I really want to start practicing more and getting more things on um on canvas and on paper and see the progression and I like it, everything else you know practice makes perfect so the more I continue to draw I feel the more I'll be able to you know showcase a bunch of different things so here is my little Jack Skellington and I really love how you know it's just coming together and I just Oh my gosh, I'm in love with it. Like, honestly, I am tempted for the month of December to bring an entire monthly um, theme of Nightmare Before Christmas, but I think I may wait till next year in 2021 so I can really plan out the themes. And plus, I, I have a certain theme that I'm just dying to use for this year, so... That is definitely on my bucket list for next year. And also, I'm starting to shop around for a new bullet journal. Please let me know in the comment section below what bullet journal you all recommend. I got this 
book at Walmart. So that's how I started bullet journaling. I found just like this $10 book at Walmart and I was like, you know what? I'm going to start a bullet journal. But now like, you know, I'm finishing up this year. I'm very curious, like what should I buy next? Um, I've actually been looking at Walmart to see if I can find another notebook. Um, that's like hard bound and I'm not finding anything. So I'm trying to venture out and find a good quality book that will house my 2021 year. And I'm excited, but I'm a little nervous too, because, you know, I really liked the paper quality of this one. You know, I held up pretty well. The markers didn't bleed through. The pens didn't bleed through. So I definitely want something that is sturdy. But yeah, like I said, if you have any recommendations, please let me know in the comment section below. To add in a pop of color, I also included um, just Happy Halloween since this is the week of Halloween in orange. It's more of like a yellow orange and I added in some dots to the edges of all the letters to just give it more of that pop. And I just love it. Oh my gosh, looking at it again on the screen, I am just so impressed with how everything came out and I'm loving it. So on my other page, I wanted to keep things pretty simple with a one page layout with how the week would look. And I wanted, again, another pop of color. And to me, when I think Halloween, I think orange and purple. So I am utilizing purple for my week and I divided it up for the seven days and to you know decorate each, each day I'm going to draw a pumpkin and the pumpkin is going to house the date on each pumpkin so with that same orange yellow marker I'm going in and just outlining little hand-drawn pumpkins for each day of the week and I'm also going to cover them, color them in so they're not like, you know, staying white. They are going to be fully covered and I'm just, you know, randomly going in and coloring. I don't know why I didn't start from the bottom or from the top. I just kind of like, oh, okay, let's color this pumpkin next. And um, yeah, I really like how um, these pumpkins are, you know giving it that pop of color that it needs. I also included a green stem for these pumpkins, so they're not just the orange little pumpkin. It has a green stem included. And again, I'm using my Crayola Super Tips marker and just drawing in one for each of the little pumpkins like so. And yeah, that's pretty much it. I mean, in regards to like what I'm writing in for the week, it's pretty simple. This is my work and school planner, but school is over for the rest of the semester. So right now it's just my work planner. So not too many tasks um, here and there. I, I spread everything throughout the week. And yeah, and with my pen, I'm just drawing in um, the days of the week in a numerical format keeping things pretty simple and yeah that's pretty much it and I realized I just messed up on Tuesday I wrote in the 29th I'm trying to go over that with you know a marker and make it into a thick seven but that's okay mistakes happen I know what day of the week it is supposed to be I even tried correcting it with a white gel pen but that wasn't working out but hey it's okay and then to add in some more color you know I love filling up space as much as possible I'm just polka dotting everything but yeah this is pretty much the spread thank you all for tuning in please like share and subscribe below I will see you all in the next video bye